Roses are red and violets are bluish. If it wasn't for Jesus, we'd all be Jewish. So what is Shabbat? What is Shabbat? What is Shabbat? Shabbat is a day of rest. Too late to light the candles. It's too late to light. It's really too late in, in real Judaism. Yes. 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 You do not light fire. Orthodox. After sunset. Baruch <laughs> Adonai Echadu Shmo Echad Shem Vichyferi Tilit Tilat Lecha Godi Likrat Kala Pnei Shabbat Nika Abla Lecha Godi Likrat Kala Pnei Shabbat Nika Abla It's a conservative traditional Shabbat. It's not that we're so uh, observant that we observe the, the letter of what's come down over the centuries. Uh, in the old days, uh, if you violated the Shabbat, you got stoned to death. We don't do that anymore. So this is how Jewish people influence um, um, regular Americans. Let's see it. That's what you want me to do. Let's see the tattoo. You're on the wrong side. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that says red socks. That's red socks in Hebrew. <laughs> In Kilon is a young man, save a race. He who young to heal all make great cosets, put his sacred aspects for you. Kibanu Bahata, the Tanu Kidashta, we call Hamim, the Shabbat Kotcha, we have our broad son in Haltonu. Baruch Ata Adonai, the Kadesh. That looks like a nice Jewish meal. Mm. Potatoes, which they never had in Poland. <laughs> and chicken. Very Jewish. Very spiced up with Montreal spice. <laughs> because we're quite a, um, an eclectic group here. Nicole, so what is it about chicken soup that you like? Well, my mom used to call it Jewish penicillin. So we have it every week? We have it every week and whenever you get sick. And it's really good. It's really good. I just want to show everybody that in the Jewish religion, at the end of the meal, the men sit down at the table and all the women do the work. And there they are, not sitting down. Seventy years you've been doing the work, clearing the, ta the dishes off the table for Shabbat. In the kitchen doing all. Oh, oh. What? Why, why are you I know. Out? So I am violating the gender role right now. So do you think that um, since we're not so strict, that this has something to do with influence of American culture? Well, of course. Uh, American culture is a secular culture by and large. Why do we celebrate Shabbat? Mm. To celebrate the freedom. The freedom. Freedom of, freedom of what? Uh, for the Jewish people to, to have whatever they want to oh, do on Shabbat. that's good. Yeah, that's true. And so what's your favorite part of Shabbat, Zane? The <laughs> Do you know why we celebrate Shabbat? Somebody who's not grown up in a Jewish tradition, how do you feel about it? Oh, well, you know, I, I, don't, I probably am answering from a place of a lot of tradition in my family being a Christian, and, and I've grown up in the church, 
and to me, the rituals of church and of God um, are parallel. I, I look at it as, uh, you know, we're we're doing very similar rituals to what I've grown up with. So to me, it just feels good. Julie today said, "Well, you know, thanks for coming to Shabbat every week, and you know, blah blah blah." And I said. I've never once not wanted to go. In fact, I've probably been the one that bugged her to go, you know. So because I like the I like, I like the I like the tradition and I like worshiping God in whatever way it happens. And Shabbat to me is it's a, it's conflicting because on the one hand it's all about relaxation and and a nice meal with your family. And on the other hand, it's at the end of the week, and all you want to do is just lay on the sofa because you're exhausted. <laughs> so um, why, are there, why are there two candles, Irvin? Well, I thought it was because it represents the polarity, the male and the female. Because in the Jewish religion, um, there's a lot of it, people talk about it being a very male-orientated religion. Mm -hmm. But there is Shabbat, when we sing the... the um, Boi chala, boi chala. It's welcoming the Sabbath bride, and the bride is a female element. So I'm thinking that bringing together the male and the female, even Stan's candelabra here has a male and a man. Oh, did you and get a, that on your? Uh, yeah, look, it's got a man and a woman together. That's the symbology of uh, Shabbat, right there. Yeah. Tell us why we rip the bread instead of. Uh, oh, I told you. Um, instead of the knife being the symbol of violence, and Shabbat's all about peace, so you break bread. But it's a very old custom in, in, uh, from the Middle East to break bread. I mean, many cultures have it. They don't talk about cutting bread, they talk about breaking bread. Yeah. So, yeah, Joyce, what does Shabbat mean to you? Shabbat is a beautiful day of rest, a day of family, a day of learning, uh, a day of peace, uh, a day to celebrate each other and friends and relatives. Being the younger generation, what does Shabbat mean to you? Uh, Shabbat is a time, I guess older people would tell you that Shabbat is a time for family, you know, time to really reflect on the week. <laughs> you guess they would tell you that. I think this is what the older generation would, but I think for the younger generation it means something different. Shabbat is something that uh, keeps you from parties when you're younger. So it's sort of like a street program, you know. That's right, because it's on Friday night. Yeah, it's like an inner city street program keeps kids off the street. That's what Shabbat does for Jewish children, you know. So you can't go out and see your friends. So it's really actually, it provides a a certain amount of authority for for a young Jewish teen to rebel against. The fourth commandment was honor the Sabbath and keep it holy, and that took hold, and that's why we have Shabbat to this day. Right. Right. So what do you think they would do? Would they go to the church to rebel or something? Who would who do? I don't know. Some young Jewish teen. Uh, like I said, I think that, um, <laughs> okay, so Shabbat serves many purposes, purposes. If you don't have anything to do on Friday night, you've already got your meal there. But, uh, you know, um, Shabbat is useful in a sense because uh, it gives you a normal to deviate from. And, you know, as, as, as a young person, deviation is really a normal and a healthy part of, of life.